Did you know that there's such a thing as third-hand smoke? It's the smoke that gets on things. Which consists of chemical particles from smoke that settles on our clothing, our hair, and our equipment. This is a really important topic. Yeah, you guys, second and third hand smoke is no joke. Um, it puts everybody at high risk of heart disease and lung cancer, not to mention it gets stuck in carpets and furniture and instruments. Because of that, musicians are at a high risk for all of the health problems that go with smoking um, because we're exposed so often. It's a real problem and it's a detriment to our health. on your carpet, in your drapes, on the fabric, on your couch or your seat, your favorite chair or wherever. And uh, there's nothing worse than playing a smoking venue and then that stays in my hair for days. It would be on my clothes and my instrument and I'd have to air my clothes outside the hotel room window. Also, being a father and a husband, I have to shower and change before I can even interact with my family after doing shows in these tight places. Our merchandise will smell and then it's hard, that's hard because then how can we wash the t-shirts to then sell them at the next show? That's right. It also settles on our microphones, on our instruments, in the keyboard, in the strings, inside the guitars, in our amplifiers. You open your guitar case and it reeks of the cigarette smoke. You put your harmonica in your mouth and it's like you're, you're blowing notes through a, a pack of camels. This is all ivory that used to be white. And a few years after I started playing in bars, it just started turning this color of yellow. It has nothing to do with the age of the guitar because the guitar was fairly new at the time. But just take a look at that right there. And you can see that if it can permeate this, it can definitely permeate this. It really does have a negative impact on all this equipment. And that was probably the biggest deterrent of having people smoke in the studio. It kind of is like slow suicide. It eased up on us. And uh, before we knew it, so many of us were hooked and sick and dead. And as we look at the <laughs> death tolls from the recent pandemic, we are more mind. We become more mindful of things that we could be doing to prevent these needless, these needless deaths. Uh, I'm here today because I want to change that. I just remember my life changed when people weren't smoking in venues. Really, it makes me really grateful. Uh, when I play in, in places that don't allow smoking and allow me to protect my instrument and to do what I love. Clean up the venues, shut down the smoking and the e-smoking, and give us a nice, clean, clear working environment so we can keep working. Time for us to really make a change in the right direction.